We are here at the Fo Guangshan Buddhist Temple. This is a Buddhist temple a little bit outside of the Kaohsiung main city. Enjoy a peaceful environment and some very beautiful architecture. There are a few ways of getting here and they're all listed on the Fo Guangshan website which I will link in our article. If you're taking public transport, the main way of getting here is by bus. There are two main bus routes from Kaohsiung area and they both leave from Zhuoying Station. One of them is the 8501 bus which takes a little bit longer as it stops off at a few places including a very popular theme park. The other one is a bus that goes directly here to the Fo Guangshan Station. Otherwise, the Fo Guangshan bus that left from the second platform outside Zoying Station, it only took half an hour. Uh, on Google it's listed as one hour but it's not that long. So I think this is a good way to go. Do we take a look around? Mm. It is 11 o'clock and the first thing we're doing at a temple is eating. Yeah. We're here at the Water Drop restaurant, which is one of the many vegetarian restaurants available on the temple grounds. It's a little bit hidden because it's not on the main road. You actually have to go around a few buildings to get here. But there are signs once you reach it on the map. So it's not difficult finding it. The sign, the sign. <laughs> Look for the sign. Look for the sign. just write their order on the piece of paper and then hand it in. Do you think you could just write it in English? I don't know. This one is cold water, this one is cold water. I got spicy thick noodles with some gluten or soy baked meat, some vegetables, corn and sesame dressing, and also this green tea yakko. I don't know what to expect because yakko is the probiotic tree. It tastes like green tea yakko. Like a yakult and like green tea. Like, it's mm. good. That's exactly it. And like shards of ice. Yeah. Sure. Let's try the crispy bit. I don't know what it is. Super light and crispy. It's seasoned with um, I think it's a five spice, which is really common in Taiwanese food. But I'm still not sure if it's tofu or gluten. <laughs> you know what? It's almost like tofu skin that has been deep fried. Mm. It looks so good. Mm. Really chewy. The season is quite interesting. It's like a salty herbal almost. Not like a sesame paste like I thought. The sauce is oddly savory for not having any meat products in it. If you eat the corn with it, you get these pockets of sweetness, which is really good with everything, especially because it adds a bit of a texture along with the chewy noodles. It's not what I expected, but it's really good. What I ordered was spiced mushroom steak with chili sauce on rice. It turns out to be a lot of mushrooms. I think they might be king oyster mushrooms, which have been sliced and then deep fried. They put some sort of sweet chili on it. Let's give it a go. Mm. I really like that. The mushroom has a very thin batter, so it's very lightly crispy. And they don't disguise the fact that it's a mushroom. The texture, the flavor, it's definitely a mushroom. Very bouncy, still tender. I thought it would be quite strong and almost a little bitter. Some mushrooms tend to be, but this one is really enjoyable. The sweet chili sauce is really nice. It's quite sweet, almost like orange. Even though it says chili sauce, it's not spicy. There is coriander which they add onto it. It really just adds to the flavor and makes it a little more complex. I couldn't identify that I was eating coriander as I ate the mushroom. Mm. It is a bit citrusy. I'm very happy with it. Really good. Definitely recommend the mushroom one. And it's refreshing to see that they don't disguise the mushrooms or soy as replacement meat products as well. Let's take a look around actual monastery ground. So that was a short tour of the grounds. There are a lot of things to do. There's a ton of museums, there's some art galleries. The whole monastery is a huge plot of land. So you can wander around for a good half a day. There are a ton of restaurants and cafes where you can stop at to get a drink or something to eat if you are hungry. Even the entrance, I thought it was a museum, but actually the front entrance is it's a lot of shops and souvenirs. 
that you can get some Buddhist souvenirs. I don't know what you call it. But half an hour bus out from the main Kaohsiung city is not that far away. And it's just a really nice place to come out to. Mm. Because this place is so wide open, it doesn't feel crowded at all. Even if there is quite a few people. Time will pass by a lot faster than you imagine. Mm. Just make sure you're respectful for people who are using the, the temple grounds as a place of worship because it is, after all, a religious mm. place to come to. It is open for everyone. And it's free to come in. Just. Put in a donation if you think it's worth it because it definitely is. Mm. Everything is free entry. Mm. We just missed the bus. We didn't miss the bus. We actually were in time for the bus and they actually cut us off because there weren't enough seats. It seems like they only take the first 20 people. Nobody is allowed to stand. It's a bit frustrating. So make sure if you are in line, especially for the E02, which is only once an hour pretty much, get there early. 10 minutes early is fine. And line up for the bus because if you run out of seats, you're not getting on. We ended up taking the 8501 bus to Edo World, which is a theme park. On the timetable, it says that that bus only stopped at Ida. But at Ida World, they actually ushered us straight onto another bus, which will go directly to Zuoying. Even if you do miss the E02 bus, you can take the 8501 and not have to worry about looking for the next bus. As long as you ask the bus driver whether he goes to where you have to go, and he says yes, just trust them. If you don't speak any Chinese, which we don't, we try our best, at least the destination that you want to go or show the name on your phone on your phone we made it we made it so that bus the 8501 you can get it from the platform 3 outside Zuoying station exit number 1 otherwise all that information will be found in our article which will be linked in the description below as to where we are now follow us on Instagram at twinspeakeatgo We'll see you next time. <laughs> You're okay.